Hello and welcome to Train Sim World 3. Now today we are going to be covering dynamic braking and hill stops. Okay, in this training module you'll be learning how to perform a hill start and practice the switch from throttle to braking as you crest a gradient and go from ascending to descending. You'll be using GE ES 44 C4 locomotives hauling heavy intermodal freight. Now you'll go through the steps needed to take over this locomotive. Okay, set the generator field switch to on. Insert the reverse handle forward. When getting moving, it's worth remembering the following sequence that was covered in the locomotive training modules. Independent on, auto off. Throttle on, independent off. Let's go through that slowly and understand why. Okay, independent brakes to full application. Set the automatic brakes to release apply power to get moving. Right, I'm actually going to put it on notch number three. I'm going to apply quite a bit of power. I'll put it on notch three in a minute. I'll just let it build up. I'll do it my way. Notch three. And I'll go down to the independent brake and I'll just gradually, slowly release this independent brake. That's my way. And then if I feel the wheels slipping, I will put the sand on. Uh, but that's the way I do it. Well, 1.5% graduate grade at the moment. So we are now moving. Whether or not I did that the correct way, I don't know. But that's my way. If you uh, apply power too quickly, the wheels will slip. If this happens, reduce the amount of power to regain control and then gently reapply it. If you are struggling for grip, apply sand to sand, increase traction. Sand on this loco is there. That's it. You're moving forwards under power. If you use the same start process every time you begin moving, it'll become second nature. Real easy starting off on hills, doing the hill climbs once you know how to do it. It's one I very often see people um, sort of asking about because they're struggling and cannot get the train to move on a hill start. I've seen loads of questions regarding hill starts, regarding um, CSX Heavy Hall when, they, when they're doing a hill start and can't get the train moving. Now it's great, you've got a training module explaining how to do it in the game. We didn't have this in Train Sim World 2, but now we've got better explanations. Now with the brakes all set up, I don't know. Shouldn't the banking comms be on? I'm not a pro, but I'll put the banking comms on. Um, I hope all the brakes are set up, I'm just presuming they are. Not too sure whether the banking comms should have been on. Anyway, I'll put them on. So as I get to the top of this summit, I'm not going really to go over maybe 40 mile an hour, 30, 40 mile an hour, because when I get to the top, I don't want to be going down too fast. I want to be able to control my braking. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what this guy, our instructor, is going to tell us when he uh, starts talking again. So I'm not going to go too fast. I'm just going to... I'm, Pulling off the bottom a bit now. Um, don't want to be going too fast when I hit the top. Otherwise, we'll be going down the other side extremely fast. I'm not a pro uh, train enthusiast. <laughs> this is just my way. I don't know if it's the right way. We'll find out in a minute when the uh, when the uh, trainer guy starts talking to me. We'll hear him in a minute. For now, let's just listen to some of the sounds of the loco.
I'm actually going to put my dynamic brakes, I'm going to put it into setup. You have to put it into setup first before you use the dynamic brakes uh, for a couple of seconds before the dynamic brakes actually start working. So uh, I'm just pre preparing myself when I get to the top. I don't want to run away train here. Right, we're closely approaching the top of the summit now. I think this is the top here. Congratulations, you have reached the summit. As you start your descent, you'll need to switch to dynamic brakes to control your speed. I've already got them on set up. The most effective speed for dynamic brakes is around 30 miles per hour. So if you're We're exceeding 30, that speed, you should be slowing down. Above 30 miles per hour, the dynamic brakes become a lot less effective, and you will be more reliant on the automatic brake. I'm going to start trying to slow this train down now. The automatic brake on its own will not provide enough fine control. Of this the could go pear shaped. It's a blunt instrument, because you can't partially release the brakes and they take a few minutes to apply to the setting you've asked for if you try to rely on just the automatic brake you will often find yourself coming to a halt or going over speed while you wait anxiously for the brakes to apply uh, watch the train speed as it crests the top of the gradient you'll go from needing power to maintain speed to finding that power starting to accelerate the train. When you see that, start backing off power and aim to keep your speed below 30 miles per hour. Now, once your throttle is at zero and you're starting to pick up speed a little, it's time to get the dynamic brakes into their setup position. They'll need to be there for 10 seconds before you can use them further. Okay, I've jumped the gun just a little adding bit. adding dynamic brake is needed to keep the speed in check. The dynamic brake is only on the locomotive and will react nearly instantly. As you begin to get to larger amounts of dynamic brake needing to be applied, <laughs> it's time to bring in the automatic brake to help. In most cases, a minimum set of automatic brake is enough. Apply that now. Okay, we'll put a little bit of automatic brake on. Watch out that on some locomotives, as you apply the automatic brake, uh, this will cut the dynamic brake out entirely. Uh, this is because of the brakes applying on your locomotive. If you notice this happening, pull the independent brake towards you into the bail off position, and it will release those brakes only, leaving the automatic brake on the rest of the train and you will see the dynamic brake come back into action immediately. As the automatic brake begins to take effect down the length of the train, you'll notice the train begin to slow down due to the extra braking effort. Gently dial back the amount of dynamic brake to compensate for this, and continue to try and aim to keep your speed around, but not exceeding 30 miles per hour. If you find that full dynamic brake is unable to hold the train speed, add a little air with the automatic brake. Wait to see how the train reacts and adjust with the dynamics as needed. Always work under your target speed of 30 miles per hour. If you find yourself chasing faster speeds, you'll need to take more substantial corrective action with the automatic brake. Okay. Come to a stop up ahead using the automatic brake. Okie dokie. Has he finished now? Right, so we've been given a, a advisory speed of 30 miles an hour going down this summit as a guide. So, we've got to stop. I can see a yellow light. Top right hand corner, we've got a warning of a yellow light. So it looks like we're stopping somewhere. Um, I haven't done this for a while. I'm very rusty on it. Probably going to have to practice this half a dozen times just to get used to this braking. Maybe you will too. Um, 
just to just just to get used to the braking. I'm coming to a stop now, I think, and relying on the automatic brake too much instead of the dynamic braking. Okay, not to worry if this happens. Just release the brakes and apply a little bit of throttle, and you'll get going again. This is, I mean, this is going probably take me a few attempts to actually get perfect this is my first unedited go at it I'm not going to play this two or three times to come across as an, as an expert or anything like that this is this is just what was happening to me maybe this will happen to me so yeah we've got the train going again no problem there pre-release gameplay this is by the way Game key, of course, you see free of charge on the tell games. Don't right. For the dynamic brake to work, you've got to put your, make sure your throttle is in zero. If your throttle's not in zero, you can't move the dynamic brake. And don't forget to set up the dynamic brakes. You've got to have them in the setup position for at least 10 seconds. And this train is really running away with me now. So we'll put the auto brake on, I'm, I'm over speeding, full dynamic brake, we have got to run away. I'm going to have to put, I'm going to put a little bit of independent brake on here just to try and scrub off the speed. The train's running away from me. We are beginning to slow down now. We've got a red light on as well up ahead it looks like. I could fail this scenario. Like I say, this is going to probably take um, me a couple of times to actually get to perfection. I should just keep I, this, this is this is actually a good training module to actually practice this on. Um, practice your hill starts and your descent. It's an excellent training module. This is really well thought out and. Um, a training module like this, I think, should, why didn't we have it in Chainsaw World 2? It would have helped an awful lot of players, I think. Righty -o. I think we're going to be coming to a stop prematurely again. Now, when you get good at it, you can find that sweet spot just on the dynamic brake. Um, you'll be able to just control it just on the dynamic brake, just, just finding that sweet spot. Um, I'm messing up real bad, but not to worry, we can get it going again and have another go. I've done a little bit of overspeeding, will I get the gold? I don't know. Possibly, it depends how much I overspeed, or how, how much I was overspeeding by. Tiny little bit of auto brake. It's running away from me, I'm going after. I'm just going to control it on the auto brake here. I need, I most definitely need more practice at this. I don't mind admitting it. It just proves though the physics regarding the train physics and the braking systems are actually working really well. Everything's working as it should as I'm doing this. Don't want to run this red light. How far away are we? We're about 5,800 feet at the so quite a way away. Quite a long way from the red light at the moment. I don't want to go through the red light. These trains actually take quite a long time to stop when they're descending down a hill, particularly at a 2% speed. It though, 
loving it. I do like my freight trains. I do like this sort of stuff. I'm more of a freight train person. I like the freight trains. Yeah, so I'm I'm probably going to come back and practice this a couple of times. Once you've had a couple of goes at it, you can sort of pick it up and it becomes real easy. I've just forgotten. <laughs> not done this. I'm not, I'm not done this descent like this for a, for a long time. For a while now. See the red, the icon on the track. So we've actually got to stop, but we've got to stop somewhere down here. Now we are getting pretty close to. We've got the help icons all on top right hand corner. Um, if you're a pro, you might want to turn all the help icons off. But if you're a novice, this game has sort of got all these help icons. You can see them top left, top right. You can put all sorts of different icons up on the screen to help you learn how to play the game. I haven't done brilliant at this, but so uh, as long as I don't run that red light, I'm pretty pleased. Stopping this thing is, uh, it's not the easiest thing. It's not the easiest thing to control going down when it's your first go. Well, I've stopped prematurely. So what we'll do, release all the brakes and just throttle up again just don't throttle up too quickly though just get the train moving just a little bit that's it back off the throttle look how the train's just running away i've got the throttle off and the train is, is really running away from me going down here so i'm just trying to control this on the uh, automatic brake Hopefully we can stop it on the auto brake. Oh, we might run the run lap, might run the red light here. Independent brake. I'm going to apply them all. As long as I just want to stop. Put the dynamic brake. I've got to put it in setup though. I messed up. Could it be in setup for 10 seconds, remember, before it will actually work. Hopefully 10 seconds have gone. Oh, I'm not done very good on this. My first go. It is a playthrough, and the best way to do it is do a playthrough, just raw and uncut, and how it actually is. But it's a great training module. Finally, we have stopped it. Right. Well, that concludes this training module. It is highly recommended that you practice both hill starting and the change from ascent to descent yeah, yeah, until agree. you are comfortable with them. Exactly. They are one of the more challenging aspects of operating heavy Most train. certainly, yeah. And you'll really feel like you're in more control of this train as you get the hang of this Sure task. will. Well, there you go. Everything he said there was right. You know, if, you, if, if that happened to you, you know, oh, I got the gold. I did get the gold. Yay! <laughs> Little bit of overspeeding. But, uh, yeah. There you go. One that I think I've got to go back and have a practice on, but uh, yeah, that's it.